guys okay so I have my brows on I have some wing liner and like a really gentle smoky eye I didn't know smoky eyes could be gentle but I have not used this yet I opened the packaging just to take a peek but I haven't swatched it so I do a lot of makeup shopping and I never once have ever done a haul and I don't know why whoa I don't know why I haven't because I'm sure you'd love to see all the goodies that I buy. I picked up this foundation in John Lewis when me and my hubby were doing some shopping. I'm so excited to try this foundation. It's like, I don't know what it is. Just It's just, it's just really excited to try this. So I thought I'd do a first impression video just to show you guys what I think of it, what the packaging is like, application, and basically how it looks on my skin. This foundation is actually quite expensive. I think it was like 42 pounds. Um, when I purchased it in London, it's probably a lot cheaper in Canada. I also purchased the Laurel Infallible uh, Pro Glow Foundation, so I am so excited to swatch that as well. So those are like the two foundations. So I'm going to open the box, and it comes with direction for use. Okay, well how, how much direction do you possibly need using a foundation? Like, it's pretty straightforward, right? Okay, so let me look for the English part. English. Oh, it's the first one. <laughs> so it says, formula is highly concentrated. Only a small amount is needed. Start with less and blend. Gradually add more as necessary for best results. Blend with the Vanish Foundation Brush. And it was just literally a standard foundation brush. Looked a lot like this brush that I bought from TK Maxx. So I figured well, I just purchased this brush. Why not just use this brush? Lightly dot foundation on cheek. I'm gonna be like all over that forehead and chin use the brush to blend for foundation in light sweep motion all over the face for seamless okay we already know how to apply foundation I don't need an instruction manual so this is what the packaging looks like it's very sleek it's actually quite heavy when I purchased this I was actually purchasing the Bobbi Brown um, stick foundation as well and that has nine grams of product and this only has 7.2 so it doesn't have that much product in there so you don't really get a lot of bang for your buck but and the packaging is really heavy so open this up you twist it like this it has like this triangular um, applicator or it's just like a triangular shape let's try it so I'm currently just wearing matte brown eyeshadows with the wing liner and I'm also I also obviously have my brows on I am wearing the embryo lease face cream and I put a lot of this on because I figured I would need a lot of moisturizer just because I'm working with a stick foundation I do want it to blend easily so yeah I got some of this on I don't have a primer on and I don't usually wear a primer but um, also, I'm not wearing a primer just so you guys can see the true effect of the stick foundation and the primer not mixing well with the foundation. So, yeah, I just figured I'm not. I'm not gonna. Yeah, no, no. I really hope this is the right color for me. Like, if it isn't, I am going to be very sad. So I'm just gonna. It says put some on. So. Do you think that's the right color? Oh, that's very thick coverage. I'm just super excited about this one. This is the shade Honey because I'm sweet. What do you guys think? Hmm? You like? Oh shit. I got some on my bed. I feel like it's very tricky to get right under the eyes, so I'm just gonna go in with a Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I'm gonna take this and just blend right under my eye because it is a more sensitive area and the brush might be a little too abrasive. I think I'm going to add a little more. Go ahead and just added a little more foundation in the areas where I want more coverage. I'm just gonna go and just push that in. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so I am actually very impressed with the coverage of this foundation. I feel like it covers well. The tone is very, it has a very honey colored undertone, hence the name of the color. <laughs> quite impressed with the foundation it looks very silky and smooth 
So I'm just going to apply some concealer and bronzer and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I put on some makeup, I put on some bronzer, oops, I forgot highlighter. How can I forget highlighter? I put on some makeup, I put on some lashes and some lipstick, so I set the foundation with some Laurier, Laurier? <laughs> some Laura Mercier translucent powder, and it actually wears quite well, so I set it very lightly, I did not bake. Um, but yeah, I think my skin looks amazing. I'm going to wear it for like six, seven hours, see how my skin works, maybe even longer, see how my skin wears it, check back with you guys. So here's a close-up of it, and it actually looks quite flawless, I must say. Dang it. That's not how I look usually. Hey guys! Okay, so it is currently... Where's my old iPhone? It is currently 8.46. And my makeup is still pretty decently on. Is that decently on a word? Yeah. I cooked like four different uh, courses. I vacuumed, I cleaned, I laughed, I watched a movie, I cried a little. So I li had a very sweaty, productive day. I did a few squats, got tired, couldn't do it. This is the close-up of the foundation. I had really spicy flu food and my nose was running, so I like wiped off this entire area, but um, it's still pretty, pretty, um, it's still on pretty well. Uh, usually if I were to wear my Infallible or my MAC, it would definitely start to crack, but yes, no, this is still on, which is good stuff. I'm gonna get real up close and personal. <laughs> so, yeah, so, just a little creasing under the eyes, but I didn't bake, so that's to be expected. Um, it's still on pretty well. So initial thoughts of the product, I love the pack. It does not hold that much product in there. There's only 7.2 grams in here, whereas the Bobbi Brown has 9 grams, and it's also a stick foundation, pretty popular. Um, I love how this color is yellow undertone, and I don't look gray in it. I love how it's triangular because it's sharper. It gives you a more sharper line, which is easier to contour and highlight with, but it is a foundation, so I don't know why that would be useful. I don't know why I said that. So the pros, another... There's no smell to it, so there's no scent. It's not scented, which is good if you guys have sensitive skin. Um, it's very creamy. It does. It's not hard. You don't feel like you're dragging it across your face. Some cons, it's actually quite expensive. This was 42 pounds in the UK. Thank you for watching, guys. If you'd like to see more videos like this with first impressions, let me know. And next one that is coming up, I definitely am so excited to do the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in... Pro Glow, and I know in the UK we don't have it, so I'm getting my bestie to actually ship it to me. Was, ah! I'm so excited! And my hijab is from Vol Chic, and it's one of their new stretch collections, so it's a little stretchy, and I'm not even wearing pins right now, like, it's just doing its thing. On my lips, I'm wearing... I will put it here, but it's been my current favorite. I've been wearing it in like all my vlogs and everything like that. I've also come up with a second page for my vlog. It's me and hubby and cute videos of me and him and fighting and, you know, laughing and doing silly things. Definitely check that out. I will have a link down in the description box. Find out some hacks for you guys and I got some really cool ideas and really cool things coming up. So definitely like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching.